PennDOT's Gus Teen Lake Interchange provides access to the Schuylkill Expressway, Center City, Philadelphia, and the Pennsylvania Turnpike to over 100,000 motorists per day. This interchange was completely reconstructed as part of a $20 million PennDOT project. This project replaced four structurally deficient bridges. Additionally, new interchange lighting and 15 new sign structures were installed. Eight bioretention bases were constructed and over 300 trees and shrubs were planted. As originally planned, the bridges and ramps in this complex interchange would be constructed sequentially and the project would take up to four years. PennDOT retained urban engineers for construction management and inspection services for the project. Prior to letting the project, the urban team looked at the proposed staging and phasing and developed an alternate scheme that allowed bridges to be constructed simultaneously. This reduced the overall duration of the project from four years to two years. The structurally deficient Lincoln Drive Bridge carries over 20,000 vehicles daily. The construction of the bridge was scheduled to be completed in two phases. Northbound traffic was to be maintained on the bridge while southbound traffic was to be detoured on a single lane ramp to its signalized intersection at Ridge Avenue. Prior to implementing the detour, Urban's team realized that detouring traffic to a single lane would create delays of over 40 minutes. Working with PennDOT, the City of Philadelphia and the designer, the Urban team came up with an approach to temporarily widen the ramp to allow for two lanes of traffic. Widening the ramp reduced delays by over 50%. Completion of this design-build tieback retaining wall was critical to completion of the ramp in front of it and the implementation of a detour ramp that allows the contractor to start reconstruction of the last of four structurally deficient bridges on the Gustine Lake Interchange project. However, the contractor fell behind schedule because of issues with the design-build retaining wall. At this time last year, the bridge wasn't built and the detour could not be implemented and the bridge over Kelly Drive was projected to finish a full year behind schedule. The urban team worked with the owner, the contractor, and the designer to create an innovative workaround plan that allowed the bridge over Kelly Drive to be constructed in one stage and completely independent of the design-build retaining wall. Not only did this plan allow the bridge and the project to be completed on schedule, but it also saved the owner $120,000 in reduced costs associated with single-stage construction. 